Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm showing you my everything shower routine. So the first thing I like to do when I hop in a shower is wash my armpits. I like using my white glove on deeper exfoliating days because it's just more abrasive than my everyday body scrubber. I use the same bar soap for my intimate areas and I know a lot of people are gonna say you shouldn't use soap down there, but using something gentle and unscented works best for me. Using my silicone scrubber, I go in with my scented body wash all over my body. I love this particular body wash because the smell actually lingers on my skin after I'm out the shower. I'm trying out a new exfoliator today. I used it a couple times a while back when my sister bought it for herself. She used to use the pink one, but I decided to buy a different scent on Amazon because I wanted like a warmer scent, which by the way, went on sale the day after I bought it. The pain guys, the pain that I felt. But anyway, I think it did a pretty good job at gently exfoliating my sensitive skin before I wax my legs. And since I laser the rest of my body, I don't really shave unless it's time for my laser appointment. I also bought a new foot scrub, which I actually really like because it's not super messy like all the other foot scrubs I've tried. Next, I'm going in with my corrective body soap. So you know those dots on your nose that aren't blackheads but are sebaceous filaments? I get them on my chest too. So for the longest time, I could never find anyone who got it there until I did like a deep dive on Reddit. So these soaps are actually a Reddit recommendation. The pink soap is supposed to help with that, and of course, acne and the blue kojic acid soap is supposed to help with lightening dark marks and dark armpits. It's finally time to remove this hair. I have really fine leg hair, so I really want to make sure I got a good close up for you guys because it's really hard to see when the camera's farther away. I got my at-home wax kit from LifeStands. Thank you so much, LifeStands, for sponsoring this portion of the video. The wax kit comes with four bags of beads, 30 applicators, five collars, and a pre- and post-wax spray. You really want to make sure the texture of the wax is a honey consistency, and you can easily monitor the temperature of the wax on the LED display. But just to be safe, I decided to test it on my skin before putting it on my legs. I really love the fact that the wax is made with natural ingredients, so it's very gentle on my sensitive skin. And I decided to go in with smaller sections because I'm going to be honest, I haven't waxed myself in a while. And when I did try to do a bigger section, I ended up spilling it everywhere. So definitely do larger or smaller sections depending on your skill level and pain tolerance. I really love the convenience of having my own wax kit because it saves so much time. I don't have to worry about making appointments and I can wax myself whenever I want. And if you're private and don't like showing skin, especially in front of other people, this is perfect because you can wax yourself in the privacy of your own home. The wax dries slower, so it was pretty forgiving. So I was able to apply it to multiple areas. Look, I even got my little toe hairs. I actually thought that the hair on my toe was going to hurt really bad, but it was actually painless. I even asked AJ to help me demonstrate so you guys can see how the wax works with someone who has a little bit more hair. Because my application wasn't 100% perfect, I did have a little bit of wax lingering on my leg, but the post-wax oil kind of helped remove all of the residue and made my legs super smooth. So if you're interested in getting this, I'll have a link in the description box. Moving on to my body care, I use Jergens lotion all over my body, then I use a urea cream lotion on my chest. Because it's a travel size, I like to apply just a little bit of the Sol de Janeiro cream on my neck and shoulders, especially the neck because that's one of your pulse points. So the heat on your neck kind of maximizes the perfume. I ran out of my unscented body oil, so I used this one today. And for some reason, it did irritate me a little bit. I feel like it's because of the white glove. Usually when I exfoliate with that, it makes my skin a little itchy. 
I like switching back and forth between these two deodorants, but because my armpits felt a little raw today from the exfoliating glove, I chose the Sol de Janeiro one, which smells amazing by the way. I'm prepping my skin for skincare with a face steamer. If your hair is natural, use it at your own risk. <laughs> my hair did not survive. I've been really into Korean skincare lately and I got this heart leaf oil to help with the sebaceous filaments on my nose and it actually worked really well. They literally just rub off. And then after I added a little bit of water on my hand and I emulsified the oil with some water. Without rinsing my face, I go in with my foaming cleanser, which honestly felt like a dream on my skin. I love foam cleansers. It felt like doing a sheet mask, which was literally impossible to open. I wasn't expecting the direction to tell me to leave it on for 30 minutes. Usually it's about 15, but it was actually really worth it because my skin felt so soft. Wow, my face feels really soft. Thinking about it now, the softness could have came from the oil, but either way, my skin felt soft. <laughs> I've recently been using this Estee Lauder serum and I really love it so far. And now I'm going in with this GHK copper peptide. It's supposed to increase elasticity, collagen. I'm really loving this eye cream. It's actually one of the few eye creams that I've used that actually keeps my eyes moisturized all night. This moisturizer went viral on TikTok and it's really worth the hype. It's super moisturizing and it works really well with my combination skin. I'm literally obsessed. Now I'm just brushing my teeth and as you can see the Haitian in me was popping out. I was determined to get that very last bit of toothpaste out. If you're Haitian you know we don't waste anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You should definitely subscribe and leave me product recommendations in the comments because you know, I'm always looking to try new products out. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.